Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's edition of ISS Update this Tuesday, February 5th. The Expedition 34 crew members began their day with some time this morning for work prep, breakfast, morning hygiene, and a daily station inspection. The crew then kicked off the day with the first of two daily planning conferences with ground controllers around the world to review the uh, day's activities and plan for the next set of tasks. Today, Commander Ford is spending much of the day working in the uh, Destiny Lab, reconfiguring cables of the Joint Station Local Area Network, and uh, this work is to prepare it for KU Communication Unit installation. Meanwhile, the Expedition 34 crew continued work with a variety of biomedical experiments today. The crew also wrapped up work to uh, replace that waste and hygiene compartment urine receptacle and also insert a filter. Flight engineer Tom Marshburn had set up for and performed uh, several fluid test runs for the uh, capillary flow experiment that uh, takes a close look at how fluids move up surfaces in a uh, weightless environment. Results from this experiment will improve computer models used to uh, design fluid transfer systems and fuel tanks on future spacecraft. Marshburn also uh, took some time out this morning to talk with students at the uh, North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences of Raleigh, North Carolina, he answered questions like how the crew prepares for uh, medical emergencies and how the crew keeps track of their days with 16 sunsets and sunrises aboard the International Space Station. Later, Marshburn also assisted flight engineer Chris Hadfield with an education payload operations demonstration known as Space Sports. Hadfield demonstrated three segments of Space Sports activity this morning. Hadfield then uh, spent some time to inspect and activate the uh, microgravity science glove box that is used for performing contained science experiments. Hadfield then spent some time working with a science experiment known as In Space 3. In Space 3 looks at the changes of physical properties of colloids and fluids in response to magnetic fields. The research has possible technological application and structure design here on Earth, structures such as bridges and buildings to better withstand earthquake forces. And meanwhile, on the Russian side of the house, Russian flight engineers Oleg Novitsky, Yevgeny Tarokin, and Roman Romanenko divide their day between hardware inventory, maintenance, and several science experiments, including the uh, BAR experiment, which looks at methods and instruments for detecting the location of a loss of pressure aboard the station. Each of the crew members will then put in their daily two hours of exercise using the onboard gym equipment, which includes a uh, station bicycle, a treadmill, and an advanced resistive exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth the crew will then wrap up the day with a final daily planning conference with the ground. Expedition 34 crew members are then scheduled to go to bed at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.